What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So, in the near future, I'm probably going to start updating some of my old guides and make it like a 2021 version basically. And uh, just giving you more updated info to what people would do today. So, our first one we're going to be doing is updating our sailing and how to go for a carrot guide. And basically... What we talked about previously is everything you needed to know, and this one I'll try to, it's mostly the same, but um, I'm just going to try to condense it down and make it shorter while try to get, keep it as informative as possible and just try to show you some extra routes that I did um, that maybe I didn't know before. So, first thing you need to know is when I first started sailing and learning how to do all the bartering, trying to get my Carrick, um, there was this, like, bartering sailing ocean guide that I read. It's like a 95-page Google Doc that I actually did. I read most of it, or at least all the important parts. And so this video is going to be basically giving you the TLDR version and just cutting out a lot of it, but keeping the important parts. And um, so we'll kind of just more or less go over it while kind of showing you a little bit as well on what to do so it's a little bit late i've had my carrick for about a year now and um we're just gonna go sailing around for a little bit so we have a goal so i'll show you like what to do um and what i did so first of all what should we talk about how do you get a carrick where do you start assuming like you're new to sailing and you don't know what to do. Where do you start? So there are multiple ways to get a sailboat or frigate and then it branches off. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is get one of these two, basically. Um, you're going to want to go for either a frigate or sailboat. Um, the difference is it branches off. So frigate goes into a volante and valor. A Volante is like the fast boat, whereas the one I have is the Valor, and this one is like the damage boat. So basically, if you're PVEing in the ocean and uh, killing sea monsters doing dailies, it's slightly faster. At very, like, unless you're min max gear, they're relatively the same. It's just which one do you like more? Um, the Valor, the one I have, it does like the cannon damage, it just does a little bit more. Um, Volante is the speedboat, so obviously the speed will be a little bit higher. And on the... So those are the two we have. Um, where is it? Hold on one second. That's the wrong one. So that one, those are the two for the frigate. And then for the sailboat, there are two options that branch off of it as well. It is called the um, Advanced and Balanced. Advanced, um, well, I don't actually know. I think one balance, obviously, is a mix of weight and uh, speed, I think. And then advanced, the other one has, like, higher like weight or something. So one is better for bartering and trading. The other one is just a mix of all of them. And then the frigate, obviously, the expensive one specializes in the other. So those are your four options of the boat. Um... If you don't know, just leave it in the comments and be like, which one do you like doing more? And then I could recommend it, or you could just Google it. But if you need help deciding which one you want to go for, um, just let me know. Which one do you like doing, say, do you like boat PvP? Do you just like doing dailies? Do you like killing sea monsters in the ocean? Do you literally just want to ride it to Vel and back? Um, so, yeah, those kind of things. Just let, tell me about your playstyle, and I'll help you pick a boat. So, with that said, um, how once you have the frigate or your sailboat, where do you go from there? So, the way you upgrade your boat is you have to... Um, hold on. At any of the docks in town, like you have to collect a lot of materials to get it. And I can show you once we get there. But basically, you'll be doing a lot of dailies, and one thing I would recommend is 
keeping a character on this area. Like, where is it? Above the sea monster thingy. Aquila's Eye, I believe. And basically, that's where you're going to be doing a lot of your dailies and getting the stuff done. So I could show you how it's done. Obviously, if you don't have a Karak, it's going to take a little bit longer. One other thing you could do is if you ride on your friend's boat while they're doing the dailies, as long as you're on the boat in the party with them, you get credit for it as well. So if you have a friend with a Karak, Ask the, and they're doing it, just ride with them. Um, so there's a lot of things we could do. I'll just show you this one. I'll waste a barter because I, I haven't really had any interest in bartering in the past like while. But so here's how, it's, here's how it works, right? So all of this over here is just bartering and then collecting stuff, right? So one thing they've made significantly easier over the past like two years of people for going for the character is they added a barter option. So you have ship materials, which is the stuff you will need for going for your Carrick. Whether any of the four you want, you're gonna need materials to upgrade, right? So you wanna try to do these like two times a day. Um, so if you use your full parley system or your refreshes of 150, I, you should be able to do, like assuming you're doing them on four hour cooldowns, that's actually a lot of work, believe it or not. You'll be able to do two ship material refreshes and uh, two trades. So if you're really just hard pushing for your Carrick, what you're gonna wanna do is go ship material refresh. So this is what happens. You, you need a lot of these random materials. And once we get to Aquila's Eye, I'll show you Florida to Aquila Coast. And uh, so this is what you're gonna wanna do and get your dailies. So here's how it works. You start your items or you get your barter things and you look at it from here. Uh, white grade goes to green, green to blue and so on. And basically what you're going to want to do is collect the materials you want. Now this is where it gets important and you have to branch off a little bit. So depending on what boat you want, so for example, I went for the Valor. Um, you're gonna need some different materials than say if you wanted a Volante. So here's how it works. You're gonna need a lot of different materials. How do you know which ones you need? Um, so on your boat, you're gonna have to buy a few things. Like you get green gear, green boat gear, and then you have to enhance it to plus 10. And then you get materials plus to plus 10. Okay, let's try that again. The boat gear that is green, you enhance it to plus 10. And then after you get that, you need more specific materials. And then you trade it into the person. And then you get blue boat gear. And then you get the blue one to plus 10. And then you combine them. So let me see. Is there a wharf manager? I don't actually think I could show you this um, here. Do I have a character at Port of Area? If not, it's not a big deal. So basically what you want to do is go to um, wherever your boat is. Let's say you have a sailboat or your frigate, right? And then you have one of these options. Like, I don't have it now because I have a frigate. But, um, or, well, I had a frigate. And uh, you just look at the materials you need. But other than that, once you figure out what you need um, to get your green boat gear or green to blue, is you go to Port Aferia, and then one of these houses has the ship part material, right? So your end game goal is to get plus 10 blue boat gear. And let's say, so what I did is I wanted to frigate, right? So I had a frigate and wanted to go for a Valor. And if you have a sailboat, you get sailboat to Caravel and then all that stuff, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is, where is it, hold up. Oh yeah, Gallius. It goes from frigate, Gallius, and then Car Carrick, right. So anyway, you look at what you need and then sailboat to Caravel 
and then to Carrick, and then um, the other one <laughs> to Gallius, and then that one. So basically what I did, I started with the frigate, then I want to go for Gallius gear, right? So you see you need all these materials, the pirates, artifacts, moon scales, pearl crystals, uh, seaweed stalks, ocean iron. Basically, you just go to Fort Eferia 1-4, and then you look at what you need. So to get them, there are dailies here. And then you talk to this dude. And then... Uh, see how they give you materials? It's kind of confusing, because like it does, it's not really super clear on how to get everything. But there are dailies. You leave a character at Kula's Eye. Just run your dailies. It takes about an hour. I know. <clears throat> but um, you could also buy it with sea coins at the shop. But that's also like something I wouldn't really recommend. So here's what's going to happen. There's a few quests over here that you can do. I'll just uh, turn them in real quick. So, for example, we're going to... Go back to the screen of the Port of Area 1 4. And then, so you look at this and say, you. I would recommend working on trying to like, get all the pieces you can at the same time, but work on one piece at a time. Because you will have to eventually upgrade this to plus 10. And so you see, let's say, you're going for moon scale, plywood, bright reef pieces, and all this stuff, right? So the way you look at this and figure out how to get it, just when you're bartering, is you look at your screen, and all of this stuff are the materials you need for your frigate, or your Carrick. And then um, at certain barter exchange points, you can unlock uh, new items, and that is worth doing. So focus on like when you're trying to pick out the kind of carrick you want like as soon as possible try to pick which one you want to go for so like for example if you want the valor think about it but tr try not to think about it for too long because you still have to do a lot of dailies for it so yeah once you do that look at the materials over here figure out what you need and then literally just go for the ones you need you don't have to do all the barters i know it's confusing a lot of things just like oh my god so many options what do you do and then figure out which ones are the priority pieces so if we go over here here's a little tip that i like i can give you guys so let's look at all the pieces for the gallius right the things that were the hardest for me to get or not really hard but like the most time consuming was um Great Dark Iron, Great Ocean Dark Iron, uh, the Red, or the, yeah, the Red Artifacts, um, Pure Pearl Crystals, Red Artifacts are going to be your bottleneck, so start collecting them as soon as possible. Even if you don't like doing sailors or you're not doing, doing it, um, just try to collect them as soon as possible. Artifacts, very important. Luminous Cobalt Ingots, very important. Um... I mean, they're all kind of important. It's just some are like take a lot longer than the others. So once you figure out what you want to get, literally just every refresh, when you do a barter refresh, right? Most of the items you're going to see are the same. Most of them, depending on how many barters you have. But after a certain point, you'll be like, hmm, I see this one pop up pretty regularly. I should get it. And um, so the priority pieces would in my opinion, be the cobalt ingot, because you need, like, 30 of them. And those are kind of hard to get that you can't really get, like, regularly. Uh, the moon scale plywood, you just get from Khan if your guild does it. If not, nah, just go Merc for another guild. And if they're doing Khan, get it. Bright reef pieces can be found from dailies. These are important. Seaweed stalks are dailies. Well, they're all dailies, but, I mean, some are just harder to get. Artifacts will be your bottleneck, so just do that as soon as possible. Um, Great Ocean Dark Iron, which is kind of hard to get. Uh, deep 
tide dyed standard timber squares kind of annoying to get but can get them and then honestly like the brilliance brilliance are very difficult to get you have to go past like 5,000 something yeah I think like 5,000 uh, barters and then they start appearing in your refreshes so if you have over 5,000 great if not you might want to start working on those now because doing the dailies for that kind of annoying. So that's something you're going to have to work on no matter what. Get your barter exchanges up. Get the brilliance if you see them. Just two different kinds. Pearl Shard and another one. But, oh yeah, brilliant. Rock, art, rock Salt Iron. So once you get these unlocked in your shop, you, you really want to do them. Like, you get two, uh, one to two every... Uh, material refresh and you want to do them like every time guarantee and then after that once you figure out like the priority items are the ones you like are struggling to get get those first but here are some routes that I did and so this is a quest over here right this dude has two dailies this is why you leave a character on the coast so you can just turn them in so one of them you're gonna he wants 10 coral pieces and one for iridescent coral piece, right? So you just turn them in and then you get these. So excellent. You have, you just now got some more um, boat part pieces, right? Cool. So do those. I would say in total, it's going to take you about um, maybe like if you're going hard on it, about two months to get it. If you're just playing casually, then obviously time is irrelevant. You just you get it when you get it. But the way to get these coral pieces and iridescent ones, um, so you want to have some sort of like co on, and you see these like glowing plant thingies. I don't know if like sometimes they're taken. It doesn't matter. Just go around here. You see a spotted coral. All right, just go gather it. And then great cool you got your you got the thing and then just go travel this little island this is where Khan spawns by the way right directly in the center and so you're gonna want to just go around the island if you can't find it or it's taken just swap channels every 15 minutes go do something else and then you get one right so cool now you have that how do you get the coral pieces literally just look and find the dead coral Great, you do that. Just go do a huge circle around the entire island and you get it. So yeah, that is one of the dailies. I'm not gonna show you all of them because they're kind of annoying and I didn't really even do all of them. So yeah, just go around the island. You'll find the dailies for that quest over here. And um, so now we'll get into the actual sailing part of it, right? Okay, so. Once you figure this out, okay, so the funniest thing is my guildies made, we all made jokes about this. It's kind of like, oh, playing, watch Dora the Explorer when you're a kid, right? And then, <laughs> it's like matching. Once you figure it out, you most likely see these over again. You look at the pieces you need and then you combine it for the other one. So there's this dude over here. No, I've actually never seen this one, but anyway, the, once you, it's kind of weird because it unlocks at certain points, right? So, where is the NPC? So you do these three dailies, right? And then you see these red artifacts? I would highly recommend doing those right now. Start collecting them because you need a lot. So... Basically, it tells you to go kill Hecaroos and Ocean Stalkers. Let me see if I even have a guild mission over here, and they'll just do it. Times two? Oh, gross. Whatever. It's times two. So, yeah. So, it's kind of annoying. Once you do all three of them, the hardest one is not really the Ocean Stalkers or the thingy. The hardest one is going to be your second set so once you get these done you come back here and then he has a second set of quests and then there's another dude 
Uh, yes, like, I think it was over here, but you have to do another daily to unlock it, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. Yes, so this one is bartering. You could get more materials over here. Um, so you're going to want the bright reef pieces. Those are important. Like, it tells you in the tooltip, like, what it's used for. So make sure to just do those. And, like, this one is for upgraded plating. And this one is for the cannon. So you don't really need the glue unless you have a sailboat. The other two are for, uh, like, the frigate versions. So... Yeah, do those, and basically if you're on a boat with someone, I'll just show you how. Like, obviously I have a Carrick, it's going to be a lot faster than, like, say that dude right there who's on... I don't even know what boat that is, but anyway. The point is that it's just going to take a little bit longer. So, one thing you want to have at all times is a compass. Thank God we've had the Oasis thing going on for, like, the past year and a half, but... I would recommend if you, even if you don't really care about the Carrick, you might want to start collecting materials now because the compass right now is one silver. And <clears throat> later on, unless you already grinded this thingy out, you're going to have to collect three of them. And they're like, they're not, like, if you put an order on it, you can get it the same day. It's just kind of 12 million silver versus 1 million, or not one, literally one. So here's how it works. Your first set of three are an Ocean Stalker and uh, Baby Ones and the Hecaru. And then your second set will actually require you to go into the ocean, um, killing a Nine Shark, Black Rust, and Candidum. Now, it's not particularly hard to do. You just kind of want to make sure your gear or your boat gear is, uh, even if you have green gear, that's fine. <clears throat> Just, you kind of have to dodge and maneuver a little bit more than normally. So, let me just show you where they would be. So, honestly, I don't even need to show you. It's kind of like on your map, but I'll just do it anyway. So, look at, see, Ocean Stalker, uh, Hecaru, and then the baby ones that you look for. Literally right there. And then the big ones out down there. So I'm just going to do two of them just for the sake of doing it and just guild quest. And then once you have that done, you just keep repeating it and then you when you don't even need a compass for like land bartering, you just kind of figure out what you want and go for that one. So here's one Make sure to upgrade your boat first, because the ones you do early on, you can't drive it. Unless you have like an upgraded frigate or sailboat, you're gonna have to manually get off the boat to do that. But once you upgrade it, which actually shouldn't take too long, there's like a quest chain that goes into the crow's, crow's nest somewhere. basically that you do the quest these are literally the dailies that you do every day this some are kind of more tedious than the others and then if you hold your left right click you can there's something they added a while ago oh my god but anyway you can actually see where your cannons go there are some like pvp tricks that people have taught me but it's like honestly ever since they incorporated the naval fame it's really hard to just duel your friends. That's, for example, like, let's say you just wanted to PvP practice with your guildies. You can't even do that because um, they have a naval fame and there's just no option to duel. So what do you do in the mean? So what have people been doing to get around that? Um, they literally merc for another guild and then it's it's kind of stupid. But anyway that's how you would do it if they just had like a dual option like normal game land 
that's where that hit him. But apparently, it's kind of weird. Sea monsters have weird iframes. Like, watch this. Yeah, I felt like that could have done more damage. You should see some of my videos of me doing uh, the saltwater crocodile grinds for an hour. It's uh, not the most fun thing. It's actually kind of dangerous and I lose money doing it, but you need it to get, upgrade your boat gear. So basically, once you get that done, um, well, this was just a guild quest, but side the point. Do your dailies, do these things that say daily, and um, eventually you'll get it. So what do you do after? Once you collect all the materials, some other tips I can give you are see hold on so once you figure out like going down here um where is it so the biggest tip go down here port of area one four look at the boat parts figure out what you need um honestly the best way to do it nowadays it's really like easy just do your material refresh figure out what you need keep doing it probably takes you about two months I know two months is a long time to go for a piece, but it is what it is. You just, just do it. And then some other, like, the tricks I gave you of, like, where to look, how to do dailies. Um, so here are some small things that I've, like, learned over time. So Ilya Island, use this for your barter materials. It's important because unless you're... Uh, very actively managing it. You want to have two different storages for boat upgrade parts and barter. So I used Ilya Island for barter materials, and then I used Port Neferia for up boat upgrade materials. So like all these things, boat upgrade materials, cool. And um, the Tier of the Ocean, you have to do this 42 times to get your uh, Carrick. I know, like, you could buy them with sea coins. So, like, over here, your sea coin, crow coins, whatever. Um, and then I could show you where to buy them. It's kind of... I wouldn't really recommend buying them with crow coins because you could just not do that. <laughs> so, we'll go back and I'll show you where to buy them in case you cho choose to do that route. Honestly, I'm like kind of cheap and I'd rather just do the dailies until I get it done. That's just me. So, for example, cool, we have this, right? Let's pretend we did our dailies. What do you do now? Uh, hold on, let me get my money out of the storage real quick and repair my boat. That would be pretty nice. I wish they made it like easier to actually do that. Also, another option, instead of swimming to your boat ladder, you can call a ship and just, you still have to get kind of close to it, but then once you do call ship, you just go directly on there, right? Cool. So a few other things, like tips I can give you guys on how to like speed it up and just not like, not make this an obnoxious Carrick adventure. So some things you want to work on as soon as possible. I kind of took it off, which I don't particularly need it anymore for me. But for you guys, there's a node right here. You kind of have to connect these little islands. And you could connect it to Ilya or you could connect it to Velia. I think it is cheaper to connect it from Ilya to these islands. Like one here, one here, two, three. And uh, I think somewhere there's two more around here. But anyway, what they give you is these things right here that we're going to look at. So they're blueprints for a cannon. And um, so you go check it right here. And then it'll give you a workshop node. <clears throat> I think in total it's about like 20-ish CP. It's not cheap. It's a lot of CP. However, it will give you materials to upgrade your Carrick early. So you're going to need 10 blueprints for every boat piece you need. After 10, they're irrelevant unless you're making literally more than one Carrick. So basically, you just want them, collect them, start getting your node early. The important thing you're going to want is Starlight Powder. 
And the reason why you want that is look over if you look over here, there's a ship part workshop. And this is what you do once you have your uh, Carrick. So let's say you chose Advanced, Balance, Volante, or Valor. Um, you're going to need late game materials from grinding to get it. So if you want to start collecting materials for this node early, like the blueprints and all that stuff, that's good. So And the upgrade material you use for that one is the starlight powder and the way you get it is off these nodes right here um the ones with the workshop that have starlight powder and the blueprints so personally i think i spent a little bit more cp when i had it connected connecting it to velia and over here just because i already had velia nodes going so it was like kind of easier and i didn't have any velia or ilia workers i just had more velia workers so i didn't have to buy extra so you want those four nodes going and then just connect it. It's about like you have to connect these four nodes, which is four CP, and then each uh, like inner node that's three, so that's another twelve total. And then your connection <clears throat> from like Ilia or Belia to there, so that's about twenty-ish. So that's something I could tell you early on, so you'll be prepared once you have your Carrick. I know it's like a two-month project or more, but if you have the materials to start upgrading early, that's good. Um, and then we're going to go to Lima Island and this, I'm going to show you here what Lima Island actually like why you go here. So we're almost there. So there's more than one place to buy them. You could go to Crow's Nest. And uh, Crow's Nest, by the way, is this hidden island right here. You could park right in this little spot right here. You go in, it's a hidden cave, and then there's some other stuff you do there as well. But anyway, you could purchase them there. You probably should go there and do the quest line anyway. Because it'll give you materials for upgrading your boat parts. So it's a quest line. Um, I don't actually know where it is, but it's like Great Expedition. I'm, no, wait, no, that's not, not it. Uh, Aquila's Eye. Aquila's Eye. I don't have it done on this character, but I had it done on my main. So basically, it's it's let's do it on one character. That's really all you need. And then you do it, get it done, you get some materials. So this. Lady, Rabinia, I know they all have similar names. And then you could go to the crow shop, right? And you could sell them for coins if you don't need it, or you could buy them. Now, the hard part is if you're just now starting and you don't have any, like, barter numbers, you're probably going to have to start buying these brilliant pearl shards with coins. It feels bad, but you might have to do that because you need them. So... If you look at these things down here, those are for when you already have your Carrick. So don't worry about half of these things already, like, whatever. The things you should worry about are, like, the upper half. Um, yeah, skip skip everything from Monos. And um, honestly, this is for people who are late game and you just have more coins and you just want to uh, make silver, not uh, boat upgrades. So that's what it's for. And honestly, I don't think these are actually worth it. The only thing that's worth it, Khan's Heart, Ebon Ruth, Noel, which is like the thing you want to get if you are a sailor. Um, some people sell Monos accessories. That's like, it's not bad money. But anyway, if you're looking to upgrade your boat, um, Luminous Cobalts. You can get them, like, I wouldn't buy them. You can get them from dailies. The ones that are kind of annoying to get are artifacts and the brilliance. The only thing I'd really recommend buying are probably the brilliance if you don't have the sailing to, like, numbers to unlock it. Tier of the Ocean, you get one a day. You need 42 of them total. Uh, that's really stupidly expensive, dude. You really don't want to. You really don't want to buy them. So... Khan's Tendon, all this stuff, just do your dailies to get. Khan, if 
like you can melt these down for fabrics and all the stuff that you'll need uh just go to con with your guild if they do it if not just go merc for another guild that does do it you'll get you'll get plenty of materials and um for the most part you won't actually need it so the things i would recommend are the artifacts these are bottlenecks for me on my adventure and they'll probably be for you because uh it's not easy to get so yeah this is the shop you go to if you are like let's say you're one day off and you have more coins than you know what, what to do with you're one day off from your character then you buy it sure but you don't just keep buying them randomly because you kind of are losing a lot of silver by doing that so yeah that's pretty much it um that's how you get your Carrick. For the most part, here's how I separated my journey. Um, so, assuming you have two storage spots, right? Ilia Island and Port Feria. So, this half, let's say um, Lima Island is the halfway point, right? So, if I saw something here, anything from Lima Island down would be considered the port Feria side and then you just get them done and then dump them in here and then if it's on the other half where the Ilia island is up until like whatever coast over here then that would be the Ilia side and then everything over here hakobin is just barter like it's um trade barter not material barter for the most part so you figure out like the materials you need and that's how you figure out a route you do so you don't just wander aimlessly in the ocean. You kind of have to figure out a set path of what you're doing. And then, so for example, let's say I was working on, I don't know, let's pick an item for today. Mm, let's see, what is the one? This one, okay. Let's look at the Gallius Prow. You need dark iron, stalks, plywood and manganese nodules um <clears throat> so that one daily we showed you earlier right you get this just two of them from doing the daily you turn it in that's why you have a character at uh Achilles eye and then you have two of them 25 days done you have that part done seaweed stocks four you need 125 same 25 days or something and you're done so what I would do is split it up into like half parts because you don't want to just like, for example, you don't want to start at Ilya, get one piece of whatever gear you need and then bring it back. You want to have a route. Now, keep in mind your boat will have a varying weight limit, LT, as we know it as. Um, so just kind of plan in advance. Like, obviously the frigate side or Gallius has about like 8,000 to 10,000. And um, the sailboat side, I think, has more or less, I don't know, carry capacity or whatever. But anyway, let's say I was going for the items I mentioned. The high priority items, you always want the artifacts, right? Um, anything that's like a yellow tiered or yellow text item, pretty important. Anything else here, if you figure out how to like melt them down, it's less important. So basically what I would do when I was in Ilia Island, I would do a circle around here, go down, circle around here, go over here, pick up stuff from the middle as I needed, come back, drop it off at Ilia. Then my second route of the day would be um, picking up materials and going doing the half other half route from the Port Feria side. So you break it down into two sections and what you wanna do is like, more or less just figure out what you're doing and make a schedule so you don't just wander aimlessly and then once you have that keep doing your dailies you'll get it done and that's for the most part it um if you're doing sailing ocean thingies join my discord there are screenshots that i've used um, cause it's not as easy as just going straight beelining. Um, there are some things that might sound confusing, but there are, believe it or not, wind currents in this game as you have to kind of pay attention to these numbers. 
Um, so the, the ocean currents and waves and all that stuff, the wind, you really only have to worry about when you're in Margoria and then you figure out what all of these like trade points mean. Um, that might be in another video. So I actually do have some videos as well that you could watch of me just sailing and teaching and explaining it. But that'll be like a whole separate thing. Um, that's like an advanced tactic. You learn wind patterns and just go from point A to B the fastest way possible. You could just beeline it, it'll just be slower if you're going down heavy waves. So, learn how to use your sail off and on when you're riding against or with the wind. And you can have it. Um, so figure that out, do your dailies. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Just the best thing that I can tell you just to not burn yourself out, this is going to be a grind. So I'm gonna be honest with you, when you're doing this, if you think you're gonna hard push your Carrick and still be able to like grind and stuff, it's really not happening. Cause like if you're gonna go hard on this and you really want a Carrick, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the ocean. If you're doing like four hour reset barters, that's a lot of time. And um, so if you think you're gonna grind and then do bartering. I mean, you could, but if you're just going hard on one or the other, you're gonna be spending time in the ocean or on land, so don't expect to do both. Oh my god, dude. One thing I really wish we could do is hide other people's boats. Probus, make a bigger dock for people who have Carracks. Everyone has a Carrick. Well, obviously, unless you're watching this video, you don't, but Carracks are so huge. Like, make a bigger dock. <laughs> New zone. So basically, you figure that out. Um, dump your stuff in the storage. And just keep doing it. It's about... Again, I'll say it. It is it is a grind. But at the end of the day, when you have your Carrick and you see with someone, it feels good to say you, you made your own Carrick. So yeah, that's the guide. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to drop a quick like on the video. Um, feel free to let me know what other guides you wanna see. I have a lot of them on the channel. Some of them are kinda outdated from like years ago. So that's why I'm trying to make them, like update them all again. So for 2021, that's a goal. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, again, down there, Discord, all my social media, leave a comment. I'll, show, I'll read them. I read all the comments. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you're interested in, and I'll see you guys later.